Hi, my name is James from PointShop.com. Today, um, I'm going to refurbish the HP Office Jet Pro 8630. I got this email from the customer. They told me it doesn't work. And they gave it to me free as a part. And uh, I see the print is still okay. But I don't know what's, it, what's happening inside, but I, I see the the, from the screen, the print has stopped that. First, I noticed that David used a non genuine cartridge. This might cause the problem. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna throw away. And genuine cartridge, they got one black color, so it might be okay. But today is the August 20, no, August 8, 2022. So I'm going to check the print head first. Okay, I see the, uh, the color got contaminated and it's all black. Those are those, um, oh my god, it's leaking. Those uh, non genuine cartridges usually contain the dye basin and it makes the print head uh, makes the print head non functional. As you see the inside chamber, I don't see any yellow, I don't see any blue and red. It's all black. First, other than that, other than that, the printer looks okay. It's got second tray. When it's a brand new, it was like $399 printer. Okay, let's check what's going on on the print head. Um, it's gonna be a long video. I'm not gonna edit the video, so it's, I'm gonna show you full uh, video, maybe like a more than an hour video, so if you don't have time, I'm gonna leave it right now, but I'm telling you it's worth watching. Sorry, um, I'm making this video from the home, so. It's all black. Now I'm gonna clean out the uh, other than the color mixed up in the chamber. This happens usually by the the air pressure. Most compatible cartridge have too much air pressure when the cartridge goes into the print head. Uh, it goes uh, too much air into the print head, and uh, that cause for the color mixed up in the chamber. I have to clean out this, um, all this dye basin from the print head, so I'm going to use the water. Let me do some water. Right. Okay, I'm going to
Uh, this is a professional version. Um, if you don't have all these tools, like I'm using a suction machine to, to, to clean out the water, I mean, the chamber with the water. So I'm using all these machines because it makes work faster. So you can use a syringe to doing this. So don't worry. You can really have a tool. Put the nozzle on the in the water a little bit. I mean, when it's like use a little bit of uh, um, contaminate, I usually use a syringe to cleaning out with the solutions, but this one's kind of totally black, so. This is the cleaning solution for the, the foam cleaning solution for the um, dye basin. Um, some of dye base, bad quality dye basin make a chemical reaction in the chamber. It makes a sludge and it blocks the nozzle. So if, I, if I unplug the nozzle, I'm going to clean up the surface of the nozzle with the foam cleaning solution. This also means you can check and see if the nose is blocked or not. It looks okay to me. It's kind of black. The reason I'm doing this also, um, so in the chamber there's still some dye base, dye basic left over in the chamber, and this solution can melting those uh, sludges, dye, the dye. Ink sludges. Let's open this out. You see now it's turned to all, turned to all white. I'm trying to take out the uh, whatever the leftover ink or, or solution, dye basin clean solutions inside chamber from the uh, the ink 
ink nozzle and from the, the printhead nozzle. This is a nozzle suction clip. Now I'm gonna uh, soak in all this um, solution sink, whatever is left over in the chamber. I have to like push it out. So and then also checking the nozzle to see if it's cloud or not. This is the printhead chamber clip. This is the uh, one of our product that uh, the cleaning solution for HP 950, 952, 956, the printhead comes with a 200 ml of the cleaning solution for the pigment ink and the suction clip, the blue, the nozzle clip and the yellow suction tips and syringes and needles and the uh, how, how to bring instructions. This is the basic one for the consumer. Checking nose for the black. Okay, looks okay. It's on club. Nothing club. Maybe one more time. The reason I'm putting this um, clip because I have to push, I have to give a really hard pressure to injecting these solutions to spraying the nose the spraying the solutions out through the nozzle and when it gives a too much pressure there's vinyl covers on top of the chamber this might this will pop up and broken so I'm using this clip preventing that the vinyl is popping up Yellow looks okay. Cyan. Okay. I mean, the printer looks new and then the printer looks new too. So just when I use it because of this color issue. Taking out the leftovers inside the chamber. Okay, the pinnet's done. Because the um, reason I'm cleaning out everything out, all the uh, ink left over, over ch in the chamber is done. I'm gonna use the pigment ink, what HP is using it. So if there's any dye basin left over, it's gonna make a chemical reaction again, clogging the peanut again. So I totally cleaned out. And second of all, you gotta check this. See, this peanut has been in the market for 10 years. So, and um, there's, this is called a chip hole. There's um, the vinyls on the chip hole too. The peanut's been old and this 
it's glued with the plastic and the vinyl. You know, it's it's got two holes, so it stop peeling off. When it's peeling off, it can keep on. It peeled up when it's if it's peeled off, then the printer will keep on showing the print message. Even you put a new cartridges or whatever, it keep on running. Uh, and it keep on showing the print message for certain color. So, so you gotta check see if it, there's any uh, peeled off. Like, uh, easily peeling up. It's already this one's nicely placed because it's been too old. This is the tape for. When you when you when the when the tape for the fixing the smart phone glasses. Give hot pressure. Make sure you stick on the plastic. It's not that strong to sticking on. So uh, if you keep on doing a print head, if you keep on running a print head cleaning, um, it's gonna have a tr trouble again. You know, and just easy, just take them out. I mean, disassemble and then replace tape again. It's not a big deal. I mean, we don't have the heat press machine to sealing this with the vinyl. No, so. If you can find the better, like a uh, strong uh, tapes, to stick on the ABS plastic, uh, you, know, you can use that too. Do they look pretty new? Um, they might. Be they might put a new print head or maybe they didn't use much. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check the page count later and I have to repair all of these things. So I'm gonna put it back on together. I usually repair these uh, mm, printers. It's almost costless. And there's people like uh, throw away for recycling or like selling it for a cheap. But there's, there's some crazy people selling it. Selling them like 300, 500 dollars for these broken printers. Anyway, you can get them very cheap price. And then I'm using this machine for rental. Uh, putting an ink system on it, CISS on it, and then renting it for like $30, $40, $50, depends on the page they use. I mostly give them a, you know, unlimited page, but most customers stay printing up like two or 3,000 pages. 
Now the penis is done. Now, uh, trying to detect the, the print head. I'm going to use the empty cartridge for testing this uh, print head. I'm going to liquid the cartridges. These are the empty cartridges. magenta color the next step I so I'm going to put this in for testing the print testing the print and testing the print I'm going to bypass the uh, alignment. It says, Town of Fatal Use Cultures, Magenta Sign in Yellow Black. It's giving you a warning message that the original HP ink in one or more cartridges has been depleted. They were sold to you as a new genuine HP cartridges. They might be counterfeit. Continue using the cartridges, press OK. Just warning message from the HP that try to you know give you scaring you to using a HP genuine cartridges. Just press OK, ignoring the message, and then it's another attention. You know, it's about the warranty things. And you know, press OK to reason printing it. And sometimes like stuck in there because uh, they try to scare you. So stuck in like for, yeah, so, uh, sometimes 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute. Okay. Now the pin is, uh, the head is moving. So, we'll set up and tools to run the pin head cleaning, clean pin head. Uh, pin is running right now. Meanwhile, let's prepare to make the ink system. Small. 
This is called the H300 ink system, the GISS, MTGISS. I imported from Korea. It's a nice ca acrylic case with uh, the damper for the adjusting the, uh, the air pressure. So you won't leak out the ink. And, uh, oh, here Okay, um, um, okay, blank, because it's still, as you, I to, uh, as, as I showed you in the beginning, I clean out the, all the ink in the chamber, totally empty, and I just put a new part, the uh, refill cartridge in, so it's still need a ink in the chamber, so run the pen one more time, it's going to paint out a little more colors. You may have to run it for like three or four times. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is the empty genuine cartridges for the ink system. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut off the edge. Uh, if you wanna see details for how to make the ink system, uh, there's another video for how to make the ink systems. Uh, for the ink system, you have to use a regular size, so you can cut off like a, a inch from the end. Extra large size, you cannot cut it off because it's they're using a pool. Okay, um, just print out perfectly. All colors, beautiful. Now the printer looks okay. Let's I'm going to print out the uh, reports. Print out the status reports. use a blue gun. Oh my god. This printer can only print out 2,996 pages, which is almost new. I don't know if you can see it on that button right here. Oh. 
All the leftover in the uh, cottage. Like that. The the rubber. This is the ink hole, but the rubber is melted. It's too. It's cottage been too long, too old, so it's melted. I only place this one. It's so cold. Is there something I can uh, use? I'll take the part off from the old one, from the bad one. I mean the the something that I don't need it, and then put it in here. Just keep on using the melt melted one, then the ink's gonna leak out. I'm taking out the uh, old ink, genuine ink out. Drilling the hole in the back. Um, already mentioned. Um, if you want to see the uh, detail for how to make the ink system, uh, there's another video. No, actually, there's a lot of different videos on my channel. Let's put a fader. It's not hard, like, you know, just having a little uh, basic knowledge and then you will understand and you will know what I'm doing. Even like deep videos, not, not really detailed. If you're in a, like, uh, metro area that you can get some use printers easily, and you can do this business. Uh, get a use printer and then refurbishing it and sell it back to the consumer. Or you can rent it. You don't need a lot of money.
and now the uh, it's connected with the cartridge. I'm gonna seal the air hole because you have the damp on the system on the reservoir, so you don't need an air hole for controlling the uh, pressure. Putting in the ink. I mean, look. Mm. We have a hundred mill milliliter bottle and one little bottle of ink like this. But um, I'm using a machine to fill in the red of it, so. This is the the ink divider. There is a big ink uh, bulk ink under the shelf. the feeling of the ink in the pot. You fill it, fill them up all the way to the top. So minimizing have, have minimize to have uh, air in the reservoir. Pack. Impact.
stick on top of the cap. Now I'm gonna put an ink system on. They put on the side with the cartridge out. There's a metal clamp that comes together. Fill them up. Fill up the uh, tape on the back. A middle of the printer inside. And there's also a video for how to install the ink system on the printer. I'm gonna give this cartridge to the customer just in case you know something goes wrong then they can use this one. Something like you know the printer like it doesn't work, I mean the it doesn't work because of the ink system and they're calling for service but you know I'm running one and sometimes I'm busy so they can use these cartridges. Okay. straight the lines Mounting, mounting this um, tube. I never enough slack to move left and right. The clamp on on the side. Well oh, done. Boom. Close the door. Slowly. Now it's gonna take the cartridge. Well, actually, um, the set of cartridge need to take is um. Mm. I hate this because um, I used the empty cartridge, but it wasn't used. Actually, it wasn't empty. There was an ink in there. And still, with new cartridge, uh, still on the setup mode. To make this thing working, I have to um, 
recording ceremony. Um, on this very six thirty, uh, you can go to, go to the main menu without taking the cartridges out. But the eighty six hundred usually I gotta take the cartridges out. Um, let me. I mean, there's another video for how to buy, bypass this problem. Okay. I'm going to go to the uh, support menu, okay? So, there's a question mark, half, like about an inch below, half inch below. There's a return mark. It's a hidden, hidden option. Uh, it looks like it's about an inch below. Press four times. You can get into the support menu. The support menu. Press down to the system configuration menu. Press OK. Press down two times and include initial, initialization status. Press OK. Press OK to set it. And open the door. Usually like, you know, if it's not this, if it's not set up cartridge, it's locked. Set up, if it's not a new set of cartridges, they're usually working by the way. But anyway, let's close the door back. Now it's saying empty cartridges, so it's, it's unlocked. Press OK. Uh, set a retaining color, press OK. Use cartridge installed, press OK. Get out the mode. And now uh, finished to setting up the ink system on the printer. Now everything's set. Whoever want to buy this ink system printer with a set with a set it up um, and call me or or text me or send me an email. It's uh, 909 815 If I don't answer, please text me or send me an email. Sales sales at proinkshop.com s-a-l-e-s at proinkshop.com p-r-o-i-n-k-s-h-o-p dot com Okay, I was done. Uh, it's 53 minutes video, and it's long video. And thank you for watching this video for how to make the ink system for the how to lift up in the printer and making the ink system and put it on together. And as I, as I told you in the beginning, uh, you can use this printer for rental or, or you can even sell it or. If you are a consumer, call me to, if you are interested to buy this, just call me or text me. Thank you. Bye-bye.